Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News, and I want to thank all the new subscribers. Sun's just now coming up there at Yellowstone. Yeah, they moved the camera, so it looks all black. Um, there was an earthquake in Japan, a magnitude um, 6.2 off the coast of Japan that not only shook up the caldera here at Yellowstone, but also off the coast of Northern California, Eureka and Ferndale. Yeah, they're moving the camera around. You can see the lights there at um, the Hotel of Old Faithful. This here is the stream view, and the top one is Maple Creek. The second one down is West Thumb. Um, this one, it doesn't really show up at Norris Junction, but here's the signature as it came in at um, Mendocino Triple Junction. And this one here is the borehole, borehole um, 46. That's um, by Petrolia. And then the bottom one, you can see the little blip here. That's it right there, the second line. Um, that's also Petrolia. And this one, too, is also a borehole. Here we got some Helia plots. This one here is China. Another one for China. Another one for China. Let's see what else we got here. Um, the Philippines. Um, Guam. Yeah, look at that. Okay, uh, Republic of Korea. Afghanistan doesn't really show up there, etc. Here's the monitor for Japan. Let me make that one bigger. And you can take a look at it. Yeah, there's the signature as it came in. On the Japanese meteorological website, yeah, you can see here it's a 6.2. And then going to Google Earth, yeah, there's the location. Um, we got the D Japan Trench over here. And I don't know if you can see, but we got the Philippine Plate um, moving towards... Uh, Oh, slightly northwest. And then we got the Pacific Plate. This is an area of subduction. And then it comes back up and forms different little islands. So going to the um, stream view again, or swarm program. Here you can see the earthquake as it came in. Three different monitors. Uh, West Thumb, Maple Creek in the middle, and Borehole 950. And there we got the different seismic signatures. Um, let me make this one bigger and I'll pull it. Yeah. Yeah. See how the magma sloshed around? Yeah. Which was interesting. Um, the um, Maple Creek. And let me go back. West Thumb had the uh, strongest signatures. We also have a swarm going on in the um, Madison River area. Here you can see there's 10 earthquakes within the last 24 hours. Um, the largest, according to USGS, is probably a 1.4. In the last week, there's been 16 in this location. Going back to Google Earth, I just put in one of those earthquakes. And you can see we got a fault line near here. Let's bring this out. Over to the left, west is Hedgen Lake. This fault zone goes all the way over there, and it's probably responsible for that um, magnitude 7.2 earthquake that they had back in 1959. This is an area where um, the blocks of faults are broken. Yeah, and yeah, they do some really strange things. The fault line doesn't go straight, uh, you know, it goes north and um, east and then back down towards the south, etc. So because of that, um, it isn't a straight fault zone. So tension is built up in this area because earthquakes uh, just can't um, happen where the faults slide past one another. 
here you can see there at Maple Creek, there's been a lot of earthquakes, a lot of popping going on. Let me bring this over for you. The last earthquake that USGS is reporting is at 1114 Universal Time, which only really shows up at the borehole. Um, this is that earthquake right there. And it actually comes in as a 1.09. They're saying it's a 0, 0.0. Once again, yeah, they're incorrect. Here at the borehole, there is another one. It's marked in red at 1054. They're not reporting this one. And let's see what it comes in as. Um, this would be a 1.13 at 1054 universal which would have been at uh, 454 a.m local time now this other one um that was at 514 a.m today we got some more popping going on which is interesting because this is a borehole if i can find it there it is yeah this is when i pulled the files at 1207 let's look at the signature yeah yeah and you can see yeah this is a borehole yeah it only picks up what's under the ground and i don't know if you can see that little springy wave here prior to that harmonic tremors that would have been at 607 a.m today and let me close this out because there is a lot uh, and then i'll go back to maple creek but there is a lot of popping going on there's another one and see if i can find another small one went really small on me didn't it let's see i don't know there it is okay let me bring it up i don't know if you can see the ones in red if you're watching this on a larger computer or maybe the television yeah, you'd be able to see. Yeah. So, let's go to the spectrogram. Oh, look at there. There's a spring. Yeah. Harmonic tremors. Okay. And I'll pull this down and show you when I pulled the files this morning. What was it showing? Yeah. One line of melt up there. So going back to um, Maple Creek, you can see there's a lot of earthquakes. Once again, they're not reporting them all. And this one here at 2219 Universal is supposedly a magnitude 1.3. I can tell right now it's not. Let's go to the spectrogram. Look at the heat that came up. Um, this was about six miles um, below sea level all earthquakes are measured from sea level i cut it off a little bit sooner you can see that i um, giving them the benefit of the doubt but it's a 1.6 let's look at the seismic signature let me go back yep the fault is moving okay so the next one let's see 2217 universal they're saying that's a 1.4 you can see most of these are about six miles okay that one comes in as a magnitude 1.74 again if you got a larger screen you can watch this on down there at the bottom the last line of long data where it says md 1.74 that's the earthquake none of these other ones within that slow moving tremor not a single one is being reported let's go to the spec well i'll just start at the beginning here oh i went off the line sorry about that yeah look at the heat that came up and the toxic gases gotta remember these are toxic gases yeah that one's pretty good what's that one let's take a look at that one okay um that rattled for quite a while let 
that one comes in as a magnitude 1.88 so let's continue there's lots of little ones here and we'll go okay lots of little ones that might be on the other line some of the bigger ones let's see if I can find it yeah look at that have to make it bigger there we go yeah slow moving tremors yeah fault movement along with volcanic tremors and we got another one right there okay 2340 again not being reported that comes in as a 1.63 and did I show you this one let's see no I didn't uh, 149 they did not report it um, yeah it rattled for a little bit okay that one comes in as a magnitude 1.60 yeah, and this, this here is Maple Creek. Let me close this all out and show you all the earthquakes. Look at that. Again, yeah, there's another one there. Slow moving tremor. And yeah, see the fault line moved along with volcanic tremors. Yeah, we had magma coming up. Let's take a look at the, uh, oops have to make it smaller yeah see the heat all the gases and this is what it was showing look at the line of melt when I pulled the files early this morning let's take a look at the image the uh, webcam well the Sun's up and it's not working let me try this there oh there we go Okay, and they're looking at Old Faithful. Not too many people up out there. It's um, 7.14 a.m. local time. Yeah. Got some fog. Yeah, earlier it looked like there was some rain clouds. And let me pull this over. Oops. Try and pull it over. <laughs> There we go. All right, here we have West Thumb. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. We got, it's hard to see some time for the small popping. I do see some up here. Some, um, you yeah, know, popping that was going on. At, um... 31 minutes after midnight universal that would have been at um, 6 31 p.m. last night and then we got some let's take a look at that yeah more trip tremors okay let's see this one's marked in red at 740 not being reported yeah Okay, well, let's cut it off early, right there. Uh, let's see. And I'll bring it down for you so you can see it. That comes in as a 1.29. We got some other ones marked in red. Uh, let's see. Might as well do it, right? Okay, um, 0 0.94. Um, some more small ones marked in red. Let's see. Boy, that rattled for a little bit. All right, we'll cut it off early. Um, 1.37. Did I do that one already? Um, 1.01. Lots of pop in here. Where is it? Is it right there? There it is. Wow. Yeah, look at the heat that came up more recently. 
2136 Universal. That would have been at 3.36 a.m. See, we got another one right there. That's even hotter. Yeah, more popping. Yeah, the magma's trying to come up. Trying to find this one. It's so darn little. Um, okay, we'll go to this one. Yeah, more heat. Oh, there's some more popping right there. Um, 2125, 325 a.m. Okay. Um, 336 a.m. 341 a.m. Looks like it might be on the next line. Maybe not. Oh, look at the line of melt there. Yeah. I don't see where they're at. Okay. Uh, 2242. That would have been at 442 a.m. And we got some more, yeah, possible screaming. Let's take a look. Uh, I hate that when it does that. Goes little on me. Yeah, see, the sound gets so loud that it can't, the machinery, the, uh, yeah, can't pick up the signature. Let's look at that. Yeah, it's not going to, looks like fault movement. I'm not surprised because, yeah. Now this is uh, West Thumb. And I've talked about this area quite a bit. How this is an area where um, they did the scenario in 2011 for a swarm of earthquakes and a hydrothermal eruption that caused a tsunami and the loss of life. Yeah, this is like the last hour before. Is it the last hour? Oh, no. That was a couple hours ago. Okay. And let me go over here. Let's see what we got going on. Yeah, isn't that amazing how an earthquake on the other side of the world can make different volcanoes rock and roll? I guess it even picked up on the monitors I got there in um, Petrolia, California. Yeah, Northern California. So it looks like maybe it just went off when I was yakking, or is it starting to go off? No, it's starting to go off. Excellent timing. Look at that. Yeah. Not really dirty. Nice, clean steam. So that is good. Yeah, not too many people up this early. It is Tuesday. Did I tell you today's Tuesday? October 3rd, 2023. Oh, they moved the camera. Ah, and it wasn't done erupting. They're looking at the boardwalk. Darn them. Well, at least we got part of it, right? Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. If you have any thoughts or comments, yeah, please put them down below. Yeah, Yellowstone is gearing up for another eruption. And if it does erupt, um, it would not just change the um, climate here in the United States. It would affect the entire world. Yeah. So, always be prepared for a disaster. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.